Welcome to Splash Bar Express, where every hour is happy hour, baby. Make sure to like this video and leave a comment as well. Also, you can follow on other social media platforms like Facebook, Pinterest, and Instagram at Splash Bar Express. Let me know what your favorite recipe is. And if you got any drink requests, drop that in the comments too and let me know what you'd like to see. Hey, what's up, y'all? Welcome back to Splash Bar Express. It's your girl, Ash Cash, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. Okay. <laughs> All right, anyways, y'all, so I'm back with another video for y'all. And today's video, as you can see by the title of the video, I'm going to be doing some adult pouches, adult Capri Sun pouches, whatever you want to call them. So, y'all, if y'all can, if if it looks dark, y'all let me know in the comments. Because I had to turn that light down because it was just too much for my eyes. But anyway, so we're going to be doing some adult pouches, y'all. So, I'm going to do a margarita pouches. This is a supporter's request, so somebody definitely requested um, to do some margarita pouches. I do have, um, I think it's two other videos on here that's adult pouches. So, and those are going to be, um, I think one is like with Hennessy, then the others, I think they're like a variety of mixture of things. So, make sure y'all check those out. We'll put the link in the description for y'all. So y'all can just click right on it you know make it simple for y'all okay y'all so we're gonna go ahead and get right into the video before we do make sure you guys smash that subscribe button give this video a big thumbs up also drop in the comment what's your favorite flavor of the adult Capri Sun pouches um I like the Hennessy pouches because y'all know I like Hennessy but I think I'm gonna like this watermelon pouch today y'all so we're gonna go ahead and get right into this now and if y'all new who are welcome subscribe to the channel all right so y'all let me tell y'all what we got so I'm using this new well not new but I'm using this tequila um, Lunazole it's starting to get popular y'all I've seen this a while ago and I've had tasted this I don't remember what it tastes like so y'all already know we got to taste it today so we're using the tequila for our margarita pouches today and you can use whatever tequila you want okay and then i got some margarita mix y'all this does not have the alcohol in it if you want to get the one with the alcohol you can that will take that drink up a notch and we're going to do watermelon a watermelon pouch we are going to do a blueberry pouch and we are going to do a sour apple pouch so random flavors that i picked nothing special um you can do whatever flavors that you want to do all right so i also got some frozen blueberries to put inside of my blueberry pouch and i got some limes over here y'all so i'm gonna be putting little sliced limes inside of a couple of the pouches too now the thing if you do strawberry you can just take frozen strawberries so you can do strawberry slices if you do um let me see if you do kiwi, you kind of risk that getting soggy, but you can do it, but you kind of risky getting soggy. Um, watermelon, it's definitely going to get soggy. So just say, just think about what, what fruits you're going to put in there. If it comes in frozen, I recommend using the frozen fruit. You can actually replace the, fro the, replace the ice with the frozen fruit if you want to do that. All right, so we are going to do... So oh, let's take let's taste this Lunazole first, just for those people who may have never had it before, so we can tell y'all how it tastes. And this is actually not an expensive tequila. This is more so on the lower end, not too low, but it's more on the lower end, kind of up there with like the 1800. So we're gonna see how this tastes. right here let's get a little shot glass y'all we got options y'all we're gonna use the Vegas shot glass all right we're gonna pop it got a cork in it okay okay, okay. Oop, got a little strong I promise y'all I know I probably say this every time I taste a different tequila but they all smell the same to me like they just do let me taste it That was kind of 
kind of strong. This one is kind of... Oops. I don't want to be biased, y'all, because I'm really not a tequila girl. I love a margarita now. I love a margarita. But I'm just really not a tequila girl. Like, I want to be like, oh, I'm going to me some tequila. Like, I'm just not a tequila girl but this is actually the last tequila that we tasted was the terramana by the rock this is i would say it's kind of kind of tasting like that a little bit it's kind of a little step under but it's kind of tasting like that oh baby okay that's enough for me all right y'all let's get into these pouches what y'all came here for all right, I'm a little sick, y'all, too, if y'all can hear it. Your girl is under the weather. <clears throat> so, yeah, bear with me. All right, so let's open up our pouch. And when you, you can order these pouches on Amazon, and they do come with a funnel. I don't know where my funnel at. I really didn't feel like looking for it. So, yeah, y'all, I'm going to just make it do what it do. So, first, y'all, I'm going to grab some ice. With my little scoop all right so i'm gonna grab some ice and i'm not gonna fill my pouches up y'all because i'm just doing this for the for the video purposes just to give you guys an idea and these are simple margarita pouches y'all so that is why i got this margarita mix if you want to get the one with the alcohol like i said and you just want to add tequila that's going to take it that's going to put a little notch on that pouch it's going to be a little bit more stronger but um, I already had this on hand, so I decided to go ahead and use this. So this is a simple way to do it because margaritas, you have to do the lime, the sugar, the for your rim, um, the agave sometimes, the triple set. You don't need to do all of that to make a drink pouch. You just need to get the already made margarita mix. You don't have to get Jose Cuervo. You can get any brand that you want to get. And just take some of that margarita mix, alcohol, no alcohol, your choice, and just do what I'm about to show you, okay? So I'm gonna put some margarita mix in. Okay. Let me get my towel. Ugh. All right. Get my mix up. All right. Got a little mess. All right, so. We got our margarita mix poured in there. And then next, I'm gonna go ahead and take some tequila. And the pouches, y'all, because it's your little, your little party, your little night over, you know, you can kind of pour these to your liking. You can pour your tequila to your liking. If you're trying to get everybody lit, you can put like, three ounces inside of their pouch. If you want to do two ounces, just do two ounces. Okay, so we got some margarita in there. And the, uh, I said some margarita. We got some tequila in there. And then with the mix, y'all, you just want to do an ounce. If you do, I'm going to tell you now, if you do a um, like a passion fruit, the passion fruit is very, very, very sweet. So try your hardest to not put too much passion fruit in there because it'll make that margarita so thick and it'll make it too, too sweet. But I'm just going to give this a shake. My ice is already melted. I'm just going to give that a shake, y'all. And I am going to add in some lime. Alright, so I'm gonna cut a piece of a lime and that's gonna be for like my garnish for the watermelon because you know the watermelon gets soggy. I'm gonna add in some of that. Now if you're gonna um if you need to keep these in the refrigerator overnight, because I do get that I do get asked that a lot. How many days can these stay in the refrigerator? If you don't put ice in it, guys, it can stay in the refrigerator for some time. If your party or your gathering is not to 
three days later. They can stay in there for they can stay in there for three days. Um, put them in the refrigerator though, because if you put them in the freezer and they freeze over, when they melt, they might kind of get watered down. But um, yeah, you can fill these pouches up too. Put you some margarita mix in there, and then put you some um, mixer and put your tequila in there. All right, so that's our watermelon. We're gonna set that one right up to the side. Okay, and then let's get some more ice. Ice, ice, baby. I think these pouches are so cute when you having like a little, a little girl's night. And make some good flavors and decorate them so cute pour some mix in all right so I am going to do the blueberry mix all right Let's pour some tequila in. All right, and then I am going to get some frozen blueberries. All right, let's get some frozen blueberries. My blueberries got a little ice on them. All right, so I'm just gonna put a couple blueberries in there. All right, y'all. And if you wanna throw a lime inside of there too, you can throw a lime in there too. All right, and I'm just gonna shake that pouch up. Make sure it's zipped really tight if you're gonna shake it back and forth like that. Just shake your pouch up real good so that mix can get mixed up in there because you don't want nobody tasting all that syrup. And you can do this with fresh puree too. It's just going to take a little bit longer to do fresh puree. Alright. So that is our blueberry pouch. Is that one going to stand up for us? It might. I'm put it right here. Okay, so let's get some more ice. And this one, y'all, this is gonna be our sour apple. Sour apple. You can't go wrong with a, you can't go wrong with the watermelon pouch. You can't go wrong with the strawberry pouch can't go wrong with the regular margarita pouch that would just be the, the tequila in the margarita mix and that's it and then we got some sour apple you can't go wrong with the pink lemonade margarita pouch garnish that with some strawberries I'm just giving y'all a little bit of ideas for some different flavors all right this sour apple is more of a it's not more of a mix. It's not like a um, a thick mixer. All right, y'all. Let me get my line right quick. So I can put in there. And now with the apple, you can actually put some little apple slices up in there. With the apple. All right, we're gonna drop our little lime in there. The apple is so cute, though. That green. Okay, y'all, so that is our three pouches. We got a sour apple pouch. We got a watermelon pouch. I had to think about it. And then we got a blueberry pouch. So we are going to taste these pouches. 
All right, so I had to get my straw. Let me just put my top on this, y'all. Okay. All right. So we're going to put the straw in there. And I think these came with straws, but you could just put the straw in there like that. And then that's your pouch. And you can just give it to your people. And they just gonna open up their pouch. The straws that come with it are much longer than these, y'all, by the way. It's gonna open up their pouch. And then their straw gonna be kind of long. And you're gonna taste it. Mmm. That sour apple good. You can't go wrong with that one either. Mmm. And guess what they're gonna say? Girl. I'm about to start getting that you made my drinks. That's what they're gonna tell you. Just cause you made them some good old margarita pouch. All right, let's taste the blueberry. Mmm, that is too delicious. It's something about blueberry and tequila for me that go together. Oh, that's good. That is so good. That was like refreshing type of good. All right, this is the watermelon. And if y'all can find this puree, a lot of people ask me about this too. I just had put in on Google one day, it was like, I was looking up different flavors that they don't sell in the store. And it's gonna pop up. This is the brand is called Real. So it's gonna pop up for you. Amazon is a little more expensive than if you get it off of some type of like bar website. All right, so let's taste this watermelon. is so good. I promise you. Make these, y'all. That's your next thing. They're gonna be trying to spend the night. No, you gotta go home, baby. Okay. Take your pouch with you. Okay. Anyways, y'all. So that is our three pouches. We did a watermelon and a blueberry and a sour apple. Okay, so I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video. Y'all let me know in the comments if y'all wanna see me do any more pouches this summer, cause these are great summertime pouches. So y'all let me know if y'all need to see any more different type of um, pouches, if y'all need to see a vodka pouch or something else, y'all just let me know, okay? And I'm gonna catch y'all in the next video.